I like trying new things. It's fun. It's an adventure. Today in pottery class, I experimented with shaving cream and underglaze to make marble designs on my pottery. This isn't something I invented. Marianne at the pottery studio brought in the shaving cream and she talked about seeing the technique online. I looked it up and it's pretty straightforward. You spread the shaving cream on a surface, drizzle underglaze on it, swirl the underglaze with a tool, any pointy thing, then roll your bisque fired pottery onto it. Finally, you wash it off and the shaving cream melts away to leave the glaze stuck to the pot. Straightforward for a potter or someone with some pottery and glazing experience. I love how wacky this idea is and how beautifully it turns out. I haven't seen the final results yet. I put these pieces on the shelf to be fired just tonight. After they're fired, I'll put a clear glaze on them and fire them again. This was an interesting experiment, and I'm glad I tried it. I try to be open to new experiences, and I like to dive into the unknowns, but within the scope of my calculated risks. I mean, at this stage, if the underglaze looked terrible when I washed the shaving cream off, I could have easily scrubbed the underglaze off with more water and soap. It would have been possible to start over, and I wouldn't have lost the pottery pieces. But sometimes experiments fail miserably. I try something new, a new glaze or new clay or new form to throw, a new technique, and sometimes it doesn't work out. Sometimes I learn that new thing just isn't for me. Sometimes my pottery is destroyed by the experiment. It may break or look like complete shit after the firing. I like to say that for every one of my successes, I have at least two failures in my back pocket. Maybe more than two. But it's those successes that keep me going. When an experiment turns out gorgeously, so beautifully that I can start making it my new thing, I love it when that happens. It makes my heart sing. Experimenting can be scary. The unknowns and all. But I guess I'm a really brave person. I'm lucky, in a way, to have that kind of gumption. I've always been the kind of person who wasn't afraid to jump into something new. I think if someone asked me to teach them how to adopt this way of being, I would tell them to start one step at a time. Start by being in the moment. Be really present. Be here, right now, all of your thoughts. The possibilities are exciting when you're experimenting, but I've found the most success by focusing on the present moment 
and what I'm actually doing. Be here. Think about now. Do the thing.